Okay, Daniel and I are now at the Museum for Archaeology and Anthropology. Anthropo means in Greek, man, anthropos. So anthropology is the study of humans, but it's the study of human societies and culture and their history. And it's also the Society of Archaeology, so a lot of this stuff got dug out of the ground. Which ground? Mostly the ground around Cambridge. Oh, yeah. So what are you going to look for? Maybe like dinosaurs. Birthdays. How birthdays are vintage. And what's your current theory? Um, Halloween get invented, then Christmas, then they wanted to, co to combine it, and then they combined it, and then it made birthdays. Okay, current running theory is that Halloween and Christmas were combined for birthdays. And when do you think they were invented? Um, the Roman times. During Roman times? Yeah, that's when they invented cakes, so I think that's when they invented cakes. Ah, that's true. So we found out they invented cakes at Roman times, so maybe they invented birthdays also at Roman times, so that they could have cakes on their birthdays. Wow, what is this one? This wooden one It's a dancer So here we are in a hall full of Sculptures and statues that are Honestly a little bit frightening But Daniel's interested in the col coloring table What do you think about all this stuff, Daniel? A carved tree thing it's a totem pole, so tall, all the way to the ceiling. This one's from North America. From British Columbia in Canada. Daniel. Doesn't that look kind of like that Superman? That red and blue thing? Oh, Daniel, look at that. This has to do with birthdays. Look, that's what they kept babies in. Where, where was this? In Lapland? Mother and child. So we figured out that Satmi has something to do with Norway, or the Nordic countries. And I know how they made that. How did they make it? They twisted the thread together. Okay. Wow. I bet that took ages. You can see they had a tool to do it. Put them all in the right place. And like some whole things and some thread. It still looks like hard work to make the tool and to make the threads. But they yeah. must have really liked to have the beautiful patterns. No, it might be fun twisting the thread uh -huh. to make it. But it would be fun buying the tools. Do you uh -huh. think that's a stick up there to wind it up? Something else about birthdays here. In New Zealand, they used to make these amazing central beams for their houses. Look at that, to remember someone who had passed away. But, if you'll notice, between the legs of the man up there, or maybe a woman, you see a little baby coming out. That little baby is being born. That has to do with birthdays. What do you think about that, Daniel? I'm not really. Not really? I'm just thinking, like, Halloween is not you think maybe it's Halloween mixed with Christmas still? Sword, chopsticks, no spears. Maybe they're spears. They look like giant chopsticks. And a shield and a very fancy hat to fight in from Bhutan. Yes? Oh, <laughs> that's cool. An airplane out of a Coca-Cola bottle. That's a precious little bit of anthropology. Well, what's this? 
A necklace made from backbones and teeth and claws. Looks like it's made out of a bird, bird bits. You would never want to, you would never want to put this on your No, it looks like it would be dangerous. And how about this super awesome what about this tortoise shell? Those look like teeth. What kind of teeth are they? They look like human teeth. But maybe their deer teeth are at the section for North American Plains Indians. This sort of thing looks familiar. Oh, wow. Plains Indians. Nothing about birthdays over here. Yeah, yeah. So these strings, I would guess, are made out of some sort of cotton. And here's a nice hammock, Daniel, on the left. And there's a guy sitting in the hammock making some baskets. Where do you get the beads from? Where do you get the beads from? So I think they can make small beads from shells, for example, by taking small bits of shell and poking a hole in it, and then you can keep it on the string. You can also make it out of stones if you're able to wear a hole in a stone, or out of wood, or out of bone. The key is to very make... tiny holes. Yeah, they're very tiny. I, I bet these beads are synthetic, though. They're either made from tiny shells... Plastic. Or they're plastic, or they're glass. Oh, Daniel, you can also use small berries for beads. If there's small plant, bits of plant, if you can poke a hole in it. What about these things? What are these made out of? Teeth. Are those teeth? Maybe. Plastic. They're so big, though. One. Are they whale teeth? Or shark teeth? Necklace made of jaguar or puma teeth. They're all just from the sharpest teeth of the jaguars, too. So there had to be a lot of jaguars died to go into that necklace. What? Maybe the sharpest jaguars teeth. Because the, it doesn't look very sharp. But the jaguars have the big teeth that stick down. Like, like vampires? Yeah, like vampires. A flute made out of bone. That's pretty clever. I think the bit you blow on is down there. I see a giant worm. That's, that's a necklace. Yeah. What do you think those beads are made of? Berries. Red berries. Well, unfortunately, we haven't found much about birthdays at all. Not much about death and decorations. Yes, this was from the 300s. Some, somebody was buried in this big stone thing right around Cambridge. So we're now in the Roman Cambridge exhibition. All this stuff was found right around Cambridge. We've got, we've got bottles and bits of um, keys and needles and pots from Cambridge at Roman times. Here we are near the, the dungeon factory. Found these awesome axes. They look very dangerous, right? No. No? I'd rather have a spear with both sides. Aha. Uh -huh. But then it might poke you on accident, right? Yeah, I wouldn't have a spear. I would have a sword. Oh, a sword? Then it's only pointy on one side. Yeah. Axes are handy because they're heavy on the end, so you can whack things. Hopefully, not people. Like, if this was really heavy, it's like, maybe axe would get you closer on the bad moment. That's why it's called an axe, because you might accidentally drop it on a baddie. Look, we found some more about babies. So here's a lady right here holding a baby. And I think the baby might even be drinking. And then we have another lady here 
with one little boy and a little girl, and she has a little bump, so maybe she's going to have a birthday too. What do you think that helmet is made out of, Daniel? Uh, pineapple? No, that's not a pineapple. What is it? But it might be made out of a puffer fish. Yeah. It was made from a porcupine fish, Daniel, and then dried out. So it is a kind of a puffer fish. Wow, it was in her helmet made from a puffer fish. Well, we didn't find out where birthdays came from, probably because we were too shy to ask. Um, but we did get some egg. chicky chalky speckled eggs. And we also got a sticker. Show the sticker. Yay, Daniel got a sticker. And we had a good time. So, onward and upward.